Hey guys, so I am an educator at Unacademy and you can follow me over there if you are interested to watch videos on basic concepts of chemistry or physical chemistry topics. You can also recommend this to your juniors and to your younger siblings, right? All you need to do is download the Unacademy learning app and watch my videos over there. Now let's just begin with our topic. Right, so a very good evening to all of you. Now I'm making this video in front of the camera after a really long time. So thank you so much for bearing with those uh, slides, all right? I, in fact, personally like to make videos on the whiteboard, but yeah, yes, due to many reasons, I was not able to do that. But anyway, I'm back. And today I've got you a very interesting topic that is your split PhD program, right? So before I tell you what opportunities do you have in the split uh, PhD program, before that, I will just like to talk to you about what are the benefits of split PhD program so split PhD program basically means that some part of your PhD a few months in fact not even some part just a few months in your PhD you will be you know going abroad and you know you you would be doing experiments and you would you would be doing your research uh, in some other country and gaining experience from that so that is what a split PhD program is okay now I know many of you who you know are not able to go abroad even if even if you have the qualifications to go abroad because of some financial uh, reasons or because of family your family is here and you can't leave your family or your family is not allowing you uh, you know he, they are not allowing you to go abroad for such a long time for for them it is a very good opportunity or for some people who missed out the opportunity opportunity to go abroad because things were not there out there in public and uh, you know they later realized that they would have done better had they gone abroad so for them it's a really good opportunity to spend some of your time abroad and you know actually learn some a very good uh, you know research skills how how things are done what are the different instruments you know uh, which are there abroad and you know gain a lot of knowledge and come back to india and then again work on your phd for some time and you know use the expertise that you have gained in that in those foreign countries and bring it back to india and use it in your own research so it is a very good opportunity all right so don't confuse it with joint phd programs split phd programs and joint phd programs are two different things in joint phd programs basically two universities give you phd let's say you are there in an indian university and you do part of your phd in a foreign university so both the uh, your phd will be given by both the degrees okay so you will be a doctorate in both the degrees but split phd is different like for example if you're registered in any indian uh, indian industry indian um, uh, institute let's say you are registered at iit or icer right and you go for five or six months abroad uh, to some other university do your research over there and then come back you will be given the degree by icer or iit only okay you won't be given the degree by the university from where you uh, did your part-time you know you did a part-time you can say a part-time research right so this is the difference between your joint phd and your split phd now what are the opportunities for you as a split phd aspirant okay so for indians if i talk about in specific there is full bright nehru fellowship and these are the most prestigious fellowships i'm talking about there must be some small fellowships but these are the most prestigious fellowships that i'm talking about all right so one is full bright nehru fellowship um, this is for only in institutes in us so you can go ahead and do part of a little part short part of your phd in us in us institutes right and and the fellow and the timing is six to nine months so you can do your uh, basically some part of your research in a u.s university from for six to nine months and uh, the deadline is generally june 15th of each year so for this year the deadline was um 2018 um right and that is for the 2019 in you know um the, for the program starting in 2019 so next year by june the deadline will be there for the 2020 program so you can apply for that one important thing that you should know is that you have to be registered as a phd aspirant if you have co completed your masters and then you're applying for this fellowship it's of no use you have to be a registered phd candidate of some indian institute only then you can apply right so once you have registered yourself as a phd candidate in one of the institutes only then apply and a few things you know you should be clear with your guide that you are applying for this it should not happen that once you apply for this and your guide later on tells you that no i would not allow you to go abroad or you know when you're applying for this make sure your director the institute also knows about it and he's open to the idea of you going to some other institute and you know doing research in fact they will be open to these ideas but this is just a precautionary step that you should take because every director would like to you know brag about their students that you know my students are going to foreign universities and learning research from there and coming back and applying here so it's a prestigious thing but still uh, as a precautionary step you should inform your director of the institute and your guide that is that is a must thing that you should do before applying for these programs right 
so six to nine months you can uh, spend and what all do they cover they'll give you a fare to go to us and come and come back from us your uh, travel flare uh, your travel fare right they will give you a monthly stipend a really good stipend for you to spend your time over there so literally like you would you won't have to spend even a penny for this uh, scholarship for this fellowship right it's up to you but if you are if you can easily you know do it without any cost you can in fact save some money when you come back from the um, fellowship now the other one is newton baba fellowship and this is for aspirants of life science life sciences only okay it's not uh, open to all uh, categories and the fulbright nehru fellowship fellowship is open to all category phd students right be it arts be it science be it commerce but newton baba fellowship is only applicable to life sciences student and it is done in uk for a period of 2 to 4 months okay and the deadline for this is october 2018 okay so you can still apply all those life science life science students who are watching this um video who are a registered phd candidate can still apply for this uh, fellowship the deadline is october 2018 okay then we have another fellowship for the uk uh, for in, that is again in uk institutes that is united King, kingdom or england and that is commonwealth uh, scholarship okay and this is a little tough to you know get into because these two fellowships as the name suggests are only in between indian indian students and the uk students or indian students and the us students okay so this is this is specifically for the indian students the first two phd uh, the first two fellowships but the third one is common to all commonwealth countries right so there are i think about i don't know i'm approximately thinking there must be 50 60 commonwealth countries okay so all the aspirants from all these commonwealth country, countries will be applying for this scholarship so it it is a very it is very difficult to get this scholarship as compared to the first two right and uh, this is up to 12 months so this is the maximum amount of time you can spend in the uk like these fellowships are from 6 to 9 months or 2 to 4 months but this one is again for 12 months and it's open to all fields of um phds right be it r b it arts be it commerce or be it science and the last one that i want to talk about is raman charpak 6 months fellowship okay this one is for france this one is for institutes in france okay so raman is like cv raman he got the nobel prize in 1930 he was a indian citizen as all of you know and this is george charpak he got a nobel prize in 1992 and he's a french citizen so named after both the um, one indian citizen and one french citizen or one indian scientist and the other french scientist who both and both are nobel laureates right so this is between india and france okay i have not written down over here but i write it down it's between india and france so you can do your phd part of your phd from any Fra french institute right and this fellowship is for 6 months again it will also cover the same things that is your to and fro fare uh, by flight international flight and also your they will give you a monthly stipend and then there are some other allowances like there will be some medical allowance and you know there are some there are few other allowances that you get so you can go ahead and uh, you know read about these fellowships and for this the deadline is around april to may so this year's deadline has already passed but the next year you can again apply yeah, and just remember that the deadline is around april and may so it is a very very good opportunity for students who are actually wanting to do their phd's abroad uh, it will give you a tremendous exp experience right Uh, working over there one important thing that i forgot to tell you is that it will benefit you in more than one way the other way that can benefit you is that let's say you want to do a post doc abroad right and these days getting a post doc is really difficult now this is a very good opportunity for you to book a position for a post doc right why because let's say you go for 6 months and you do you work hard and the guy and the you know uh, under whomsoever you are doing a uh, your part time phd your part time research he really likes your work so in that case what happens is he will know that you are a good student you are a hard working student you are smart and that he can trust you so when you are applying for post doc you know it becomes really favorable you know the ball is in your in your court you can easily you know get a post doc under that particular guide if you work under him and he likes your work so that cuts cuts out a lot of effort of applying to post doc right so you are way ahead than your competition when you are applying for post doc because the guide of that particular institute where you did your part time research already knows you and you know it's almost a, a secure position for you right so in that way also if you see future wise also it will help you a lot it will save you a lot of time because getting a post doc these days for indian students is very difficult right it's getting difficult day by day so that's what my suggestion is in fact next year even i even i'm thinking i will be applying for this uh, particular 
um, you know fellowships uh, if not next year then next next year so i'll definitely i'm i'm also planning to you know apply for these fellowships i was actually unaware about these fellowships recently only somehow i was interacting with a colleague and he told me that one of his friends has actually gone for this newton baba fellowship and from there i got to know about these fellowships then i did did some of my own research and i found out that there are some other fellowships as well which is there for the taking so somehow it you know i it missed it it got missed out and uh, but recently i have you know i i have you know come in terms with this that yes this these kind of fellowships are all, are also there and uh, even i'm thinking of applying for these fellowships because my sole aim was not to go for a phd abroad but this gives me a perfect opportunity it will give it will be a learning curve in my life i can you know learn a lot of practical things a lot of theoretical things as well um, you know one if i get to go in any of these uh, institutions which are present in any of these countries all of them are really good countries us uk france right so you can apply and thank you so much for watching this video if you liked if you if you found this information useful please like this video and also share it with your friends right thank you so much for watching